All right, Hallie Jackson, you just teed up Mr. Trump quite well. He's on the phone. Mr. Trump, good morning. Good to talk to you as always. Good morning. Let me start with this latest tweet that you have. Talking about Bill Clinton, you said that he had failed badly in the 2008 campaign when he acted as a surrogate for his wife, and you added he was called a racist. I know you choose your words carefully. Are, are you yourself calling him a racist? No, he was called that by the Obama campaign. He was called it loud and clear. He was extremely insulted. Why did you put by it in your way, tweet if you don't believe it? I, they said it. I didn't say it. I know, I but you circulated it to 5.4 million followers, so that would suggest you approve All of it. All I said was what they said, Savannah. That's what they said. They called him a racist. I don't believe he is a racist, if you want to know the truth, but they called him a racist. It was a miserable campaign. He did very poorly. And he, they're bringing him out again. He's being uh, wheeled out, and we're going to see what happens. But frankly, he did very, very poorly. He was not good for her. And obviously, she lost to Obama, and that was the end of that. But they brought him out before. You also said that he has, and this is a different tweet, quote, a terrible record of women abuse. And I, I wondered if you could get specific about that. What do you mean? What are you referring to in particular? Well, if you look at the different situations, of course, we can name many of them. I can get you a list, and I'll have it sent to your office in two seconds. But there was certainly a lot of abuse of women. And you look at whether it's uh, Monica Lewinsky or Paula Jones or many of them, and uh, that certainly will be fair game. Certainly if they play the woman's card with respect to me, that will be fair game. You mentioned Monica Lewinsky. Lewinsky. Are you saying an alleged extramarital affair that, of course, he has now admitted? Is that fair well, game in a campaign? Alleged. Yeah. Is that alleged? I don't think that's alleged. No, he's admitted it. He's admitted well, it. Well, he's admitted it. You don't have to use the word alleged. Right, which is right, exactly. So are you saying an extramarital affair by Bill Clinton is fair game and something that you think should be I'm, in the campaign. I'm not saying, what I'm saying is very simple. Uh, if she is going to play the woman card, because I'll do more for women than Hillary Clinton is going to do for women, including the safety of our country, which is good for everybody. But if she's going to play, which she started about a week ago, talking about, oh, he mentioned and you know the, the whole thing, playing up the women's card very, very strongly. And if she's going to play that game, and if he's going to be out there campaigning, then he's certainly fair game. And I think just about everybody agrees with me on that. This is a person who... Uh, you know, he's, he's going to be out, and I like the fact that he's campaigning for her. He failed in 2008. He failed really badly. He frankly did a very poor job in campaigning, if you want to know the truth. And perhaps he'll do well or perhaps he'll do poorly. But if she's going to play the woman card, it's all fair game. You mentioned the Monica Lewinsky issue. In 2008 on CNN, you called the effort to impeach Bill Clinton for that nonsense and totally unimportant. Do you still feel that way, or have you had a change of heart? Well, you know, I tell this to everybody. I got along as a what they was. Uh, I'm, I'm dubbed as a world class businessman, which, frankly, that's what I am. And I got along with everybody. I got along with the Clintons. I got along with the Republicans, the Democrats, the liberals, the conservatives. That was my obligation. As a businessman, I had to get along with everybody, and I'll be able to do that as president. I'll be able to bring people together. But I got along with the Clintons, and I got along with everybody virtually, because that was when I needed approvals, when I needed something from Washington. I always got what I wanted, and that's because I was able to get along with everybody. But so You got along, a, but did you secretly so Savannah, not Savannah, feel that way about them? No, no, let me just tell you. So when I was a businessman, I had an obligation to myself, my family, my company to get along with everybody, and I did that probably better than most. All right, Mr. Trump, I'm out of time. We'll have to leave it there. We hope to talk to you again soon. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.